All right. I had a number of people ask me to have a look at this, so I decided to download this and install it on my desktop. I am speaking about the new Cinnamon 2.0 desktop user interface, and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, here it is. I just installed it, and I haven't done anything with it. And uh, here it is, Cinnamon 2. Let's have a look and see what's new here. Uh, it has improved edge tiling. Tiled windows can be resized. In addition to top, bottom, left, right windows can now be tiled into the four corners of the screen. So let's give that a shot here. Let's open up another window. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and see if I can tile this. Okay, that's kind of neat. So now... Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. So now you can tile windows to your liking. All right, pretty cool. Neat little feature there. All right, a new feature called HUD was added. When dragging a window near the tiling zone, Cinnamon displays a hint so you know where the window will tile. Okay, and we just saw that. All right, a new edge snapping feature has been added. It's similar to the edge tiling, but there's a difference. Maximized windows do not cover snapped windows. To snap a window, drag a window with your mouse towards an edge while pressing the control key. Okay. Don't really do much tiling myself, though. A configurable individual sound effects. You can configure sounds for events such as Cinnamon Startup, switching workspaces, closing, minimizing, or maximizing windows, and so on. Really not my thing, but I know a lot of people want to be able to have sounds on their desktop, so that can be a cool thing. All right. Ah, and it even gave me a little hint right there, so that is pretty cool. They replaced the GNOME user accounts with the Cinnamon user and groups. Users can access and modify their own info via the account details module. Added an user applet, which can be used to shut down, restart, or suspend the system, turn off the notifications, access the account details or system settings. Furthermore, the applet supports MDM and LightDM under switching and light DM guest user session. Cinnamon Bluetooth has replaced Blue Man. Important improvements for full screen apps. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, the last time I used Cinnamon, it kind of behaved kind of buggy. So let's see if we're going to experience this. And remember, kids, I am not doing this in a virtual machine. I'm actually using this on my desktop. So we can right click on the panel here. And we can go into panel edit mode, and we'll turn this on. And now you're going to see that it changes color. So now we can do some things with this. You can go into settings here. Um, you can theme it. Okay, let's have a look and see what we can do there. Looks like there's only the main cinnamon theme by default, but you can get more of them online. Okay, now that that is finished, Let's have a look and see what options we got. All right, looks like these are all rankings on the right side. Void looks like it is the most popular one. Personally, I'm a dark theme kind of guy. So let's um, have a look at this Loki one. We're just going to mark this, install or update selected. There are other settings here. Your controls, you can change... Uh, from Adwada, you know, any themes that you may have on the system. So, I have uh, Mediterranean Night Darkest as my favorite theme, so I'm going to opt for that one. See how that looks when I open up Nemo. Choose your icons, your window borders, your mouse pointer, and that sort of thing. Maybe I need to take this out of uh, panel edit mode in order to access this. There we go. Okay, maybe that wasn't the one. 
And I'm sure some of these, to get the full effect of them, you have to log out and log back in. Okay, but I can see I'm starting to get some themes applied and that sort of thing. Okay, cool. All right, and we're going to select that we want Loki here. Ah, very good. So now it's changed its appearance. Okay, very good. We can close this now. Turn that panel edit mode back on. And then we can even add applets to the panel. There's a number of them here that you can choose from. And of course, you can get more online. Probably they have more than enough things here that I would use, but yep, you can go online and get more. I'm not going to do it. Okay, let's see what we have under settings. Okay, we've got the traditional panel at the bottom. You can select to auto hide it. Use a customized panel. Otherwise, um, it will use the panel defined by the theme. So we can allow uh, cinnamon to scale panel text and icons according to the panel height. You can change its height in pixels. So that's kind of cool. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's have a look at the menu options. You can show bookmarks in places, recent files. I don't like having recent files showed, but many of you like that option, so that's there for you to use if you want. You can enable auto-scrolling in the applications list. Open a menu when you mouse over it. Enable file system path entry in the search box. Great for searching for those files on your system. Okay. And this menu for troubleshooting always came in handy for me when I ran Cinnamon because a lot of times it would just start acting wonky and so they have a nice little restart Cinnamon button which will just restart it all for you. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and, well, maybe not. Because I don't know if this is going to kill my screen capture program. <laughs> it probably could. So I'm not going to do that. But it's looking better. Okay, cool. But really... I like XFCE. I like the way it's customized. And of course, I can use CompHIS effects with uh, my XFCE desktop. That's something I can't do. But yeah, okay. Thanks for suggesting it, everybody. It looks okay. Um, why don't we also see what we can do in terms of... Uh, uh, we also have the settings here, Cinnamon settings. And in the Cinnamon settings here... Uh, you can also configure some other things, such as uh, all of your effects. Um, there are a number of them here, but you can choose which one you want. You can choose which background. And thus far, there really aren't that many backgrounds to choose from in here. And it doesn't look like that it detected uh, the backgrounds that I have for my system, which is a shame, because it would be kind of cool if I could use my, you know, Manharo wallpapers that I have, but it doesn't show them in here. So I would physically have to search for them and add them by using the Add button here. Okay, um, you can uh, define your fonts that Cinnamon is going to be using. We already covered themes, and they also mentioned account details, so let's have a quick look at it. Okay, so you can define which image you have, your username and your password for the system. We've talked about applets. You have your calendar options, applications and removable media. If you want to have desklets, they have a desk theme, a desklet a theme engine. You could have like a clock desklet, for instance. And of course, th there is an option to get more of them online. I'm really a Clear desktop purist. I really don't want anything on my desktop. Maybe I'll run Conky, but that's it, you know. But they do have a few. You can define your hot corners and uh, window tiling and edge flipping, which uh, may be beneficial for those of you who like to tile stuff. You can uh, manage your extensions, your desktop, your menu. So in all in all, this is looking pretty good. Not my cup of tea, though. Definitely not my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people love it. So uh, if uh, cinnamon is your thing, 
um, let us know about it. Put it in the space below and uh, share your experiences. And if you're having any problems with it, you can also put that in the space below. Maybe uh, somebody in the community might be able to answer that, answer any questions and that sort of thing you have on this. I'm out of here. Thank you.